Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I would like to welcome you to the Sunday Book Review. The Sunday Book Review is the series where I discuss books which impact the compliance practitioner, the legal professional, and the business professional. I hope you will enjoy this episode. Welcome to the Sunday Book Review for March 29, 2020, the Back to Business Edition. First up, The Glass Hotel, a novel by Emily St. John Mandel. Vincent is a bartender at a five-star lodging retreat in Vancouver Island. Above Manhattan, a greater crime is being committed as a famous financier is running an international Ponzi scheme, moving imaginary sums of money through clients' accounts. When the financial empire collapses, it obliterates countless fortunes and devastate lives. If that sounds like anyone familiar, well, it's based on Bernie Madoff. In a captivating story of crisis and survival, Emily St. John Mandel takes readers through the often hidden landscape, campgrounds for the near homeless, underground atronica clubs, the business of international shipping, service in luxury hotels, and life in federal prison. Rife with unexpected beauty, the Glass Hotel is a captivating portrait of green and love, delusion, ghosts, and unintended consequences. Next up, uh, we take uh, things back to the 1600s and 1500s uh, to look at Grisham's Law, the life and world of Queen Elizabeth's first bankers. Thomas Grisham was arguably the first true wizard of global finance. He rose through mercantile worlds of London and Antwerp to come the hidden power behind three of the five Tudor monarchs. Monarchs Today is remembered in economic doctrines, in the institutes he founded, and in the city of London's position as the economic center of the earth. Without Grisham, England might truly have become a vassal state, yet his maneuvering released Elizabeth from a fr- crushing bet, burden of debt and allowed for vital military preparations during the wars of religions that set Europe ablaze. His deepest loyalties have remained enigmatic until now. Drawing on vast new research and several startling new discoveries, John Guy recreates Grisham's life and singular personality with astonishing intimacy going forward. Uh, Next up, we take a look at the uh, South Korean company, Samsung, in the book Samsung Rising, the inside story of the South Korean giant that set out to beat Apple and conquer tech. Based on his years of reporting for The Economist and other publications, Jeffrey Kane takes a look at the uh, curtains behind the biggest company in America that nobody knows about. Seen for decades in tech circles as the fast follower rather than an innovative leader, Samsung today has grown to become the market leader in the U.S. and around the globe, having captured one quarter of the smartphone market and pushing the envelope in every front. Today, Samsung employs over 300,000 people. The company's revenues have grown more than 40 times since 1987 and make up 20% of South Korea's exports. Yet with even the disastrous recall of the Galaxy Note 7 with the numerous attempts of the phones to spontaneously burst into flames reveals the dangers of the company's headlong attempt to overtake Apple at all costs and how to manage risk. And finally, we take things in a little bit different direction and look at war fever, Boston, baseball, and America in the shadow of the Great War. In the fall of 1918, a fever gripped Boston, but this was the Spanish flu. As the war in Europe raged on, the enemy seemed to be lurking everywhere, off submarines off the coast of Cape Cod. War fever explodes this delirious moment in American history through the lives of three men in Boston. Together they offer a gripping narrative of America at war and at a time of cultural upheaval. I hope you will enjoy these books this week. This is Tom Fox again. I have started a new podcast around compliance and coronavirus in uh, uh, connection with the uh, coronavirus health crisis. I've also got some new additions to the Compliance Podcast Network, uh, uh, Ethics Matters, Compliance Live and Jamming with Jason. So some great new podcasts on the Compliance Podcast Network. I hope you will check them out and I hope you will enjoy compliance and coronavirus during this health crisis and health care crisis. Be safe and sanitary.